what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your second ES6 tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to set up tracer with your <coughs> ES6 or with your computer actually so that you can just start coding in ES6 so to do that first of all you'll need to install node and to install node just go to nodejs.org this is a website then you'll find a big green button there with the latest stable release and then what you have to do is just download the setup and just execute it so it might take a minute or two depending upon how fast you are so once you are done with that come back here and write npm install tracer and with a global flag now this would install tracer on your computer globally so that all of your programs can use that and uh, just hit enter now it would install tracer for you but i'm just gonna abort this process because i've already installed that so i'm just gonna hit ctrl c yes and once you have installed tracer then what you have to do is write tracer and hit enter then you'll see something like this so if it appears then you know that tracer was installed all right so now we have installed tracer what next now let's just write some simple javascript here and uh, let's just link or not yet let's just compile this javascript let's say this was let's say this was a simple not a simple console log but a complex type of es6 program then what you'll do is let's just open this directory first and right click here open the command window and since we are in the same directory now so right tracer ceur i'm always misspelling that 2.js now as you can see this line not only compiles your code but actually executes it as well so what you would like to have is that you would like to have your compiled code in a different file because compiled code is the one which you will use in your html and uh, you're basically on your website so to output that if i just write tracer you can see here in the examples we have this line right there so the out flag would just output your compiled file into a different file and all these files are the input files which would be just compiled by tracer and would be compiled into a single file so let's say tracer to compile.js and I want 2.js to be compiled and don't forget the out flag right there and hit enter now if you look into the compiled file then as you can see this doesn't look very nice and obviously this is what the heck is this this is not defined so as you can see that this is this code won't work if I just include simply do like script src to compile.js because the very first error that your browser would throw is that what the heck is this so we need another ways to make this compiled code work with your html file and we'll be looking about that in the next tutorial so that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching